Hello, beautiful people. Hope everybody is doing well. What is the plan for today? Going to Puebla. Puebla is a, another city. It's about an hour and a half from here, maybe two hours. It depends on the traffic. So let's go and find out um, what is going on. I went there about 25 years ago, maybe 24. And that was a long time ago. Uh, definitely things has been changed. We're going to be go and check it out what's going on. Maybe try some uh, local food. Uh, there's a food called uh, special, Mole Poblano. And uh, that is uh, we're going to probably going to try. Stick with me. My compadre Javier Cortez, he knows whole Mexico. You just tell him where to go, he's a live GPS. He don't have a GPS in his car. He don't use any GPS in his cell phone. He just know. That's a good thing. I can even uh, going around in California without a GPS. <laughs> Did you know that Cinco de Mayo originated in Puebla? So what is Cinco de Mayo? Cinco de Mayo was a victory against French intervention during 1862. The battle was fought near in the city of Puebla known as Puebla de los Angeles. Many people think the Cinco de Mayo holiday is a promotional event for beer and hot salsas. Interestingly, this is the only Mexican culture and heritage celebrated in America and is quite popular. So what is the Cinco de Mayo? The French army came to collect a huge debt owed by Mexico, but their soldier, which is means French soldier, were defeated by Mexican army. The French lost the war because of the huge support provided by the United States to the Mexican army. Is Mexico safe? Yes, you can go anywhere, no problem, but just like other big city, you don't want to go night or in the dark, certain street that it could be vulnerable. It can be happening in Rome, it could be happening in Manila, it could be happening in Harlem's in New York or Bronx or even Manhattan. Possible. A lot of people make a bad advertisement. Mexico is not a safe place. Don't go there. No, it is a safe place. The only thing is that if you're looking for trouble, you are going in the wrong side. That means you're inviting a difficulties. And then you're probably going to be experienced with the bad things. But if you just go travel in the right place, the right things to do, then generally it's okay. Mount Popo has been erupting continuously, resulting in the cancellation of nearly 500 flights. Despite its stunning beauty on a clear day, this volcano has become a beauty and the beast. Puebla City will be have the same situation because Mount Popotepec is nearby. So Puebla or Cholula, anything surrounded that mountain all has been affected with volcanic ashes. The weather in Puebla is hot and dusty. I supposed to have a mask to protect myself from this environment of the ashes in the air. And that's not good for you. It's not good for nobody. That's why mask is important. Mask basically means to protect you from the air has all the pollutions, you know, that's basically the things. Uh, it's like COVID-19 time. A lot of people don't want to wear a mask uh, because they don't know about the science. Just arrived in Puebla. This is the downtown. Uh, we're driving through it looking for a parking lot. The journey took approximately an hour and a half. The city architectural design has a classic Spanish feel to it, which is reminiscent of Spain. It's most look like when you're walking in the street, you feel like you are in Spain somewhere. 
Moreover, Puebla City is impeccably clean and well kept. I'm really surprised. Although the crime rate in Puebla is generally low uh, compared with other major cities in Mexico. It is slightly higher than in United States uh, cities uh, such as Los Angeles, San Francisco and Chicago. Do you know that Puebla is the fourth largest city in Mexico, following Mexico City, Guadalajara and Monterrey. Interestingly, its original name is Puebla de Zaragoza. Population, all metro area, about 3.5 million and in the states, about over 6.3 million. Puebla has a long and intriguing history, dating back uh, to 1531, when it was secured by the Spaniard as a strategically important route to going to Veracruz via this city, Puebla. For Spaniard, Veracruz was the lifeblood of trade center, where Puebla was the most important route to going to the Atlantic trade. Over the years, Puebla has gone through lots of conflicts, lots of problems, including the war, not only with Spaniard, but with the French. In Puebla, the majority of the population speaks Spanish, about 90%. The remaining languages spoken are uh, local, native, which is known as a Nauta, and Mexica, which is the Aztec language and combines something with Mayan. Weather in Puebla today is a pretty warm today. Not really that hot, but it's warm. I would say it is kind of subtropical. Time for to eat something. I'm kind of hungry. I have done some little research on the internet and I found there is one restaurant where they serve mole poblano. Mole poblano, a dish that boosts over 40 ingredients and some even use up to 80 ingredients. It is a complex dish that it's cooked with abundance of ingredients, making it one of the most unique and complex food in the world. There is even a joke amongst people in other parts of Mexico about mole poblano recipe, questioning when the cook who invented this delicious mole, probably he was drunk. Otherwise, why someone put in a one dish 40, 60 or 80 ingredients? What is the reason? Puebla is known for its best gastronomy, uh, such as mole, semita, and taco arabes, enchiladas with a different color of sauce. However, I am a bit uh, perplexed about taco arabes, which contains pork meat. Since most Arab culture don't consume pork, I'm curious about the inspiration behind this taco arabes. I have a hunch that it may originate from southern region of Andalusia, Spain, probably, or maybe I'm wrong. found the restaurant, it's called Komal, right there. I heard they have some uh, special food. Maybe you're gonna sit up there on the balcony.
some local food. Mole Poblano is very famous here in Puebla. And that's cooked in a special kind of uh, sauce. I think 40 different kind of ingredient in the sauce. Five enchilada, different kind of sauce, different colors. And one semita. Semita is a kind of like a, a sandwich. Um, and it's also local here, only Puebla. So we're waiting for it. Once I have it here, I'll show you. Black tortilla chips. This comes from the black corn. Spicy. I'm trying all kinds of salsa. Ooh. Habanero. We are sitting next to the balcony and the view of the church, the main cathedral in Puebla. First try some local beer. It's a dark beer. They also have the lager, regular one. But she recommend that uh, dark beer is supposed to be uh, drinking while I order mole. Mole is also dark. That's what she recommend. But I don't think so it's important. You can drink any beer, you know. Cholula cerveza. You know, drink Corona, Modelo, Dos Aques, Victoria, Pacifico, Del Sol. Little bitterness on it. I usually don't like so dark beer. But it's okay, you know, one bottle only. Just to uh, taste the beer, nothing else. ¿Eso okay. qué? Mole poblano. Mole poblano. Con pollo. Con pollo. Carne asada. Oh, eso es regular. Esto no es especial, ¿no? Eso sí, porque es de cinco moles. ¿Esos cinco este moles? Es adobo, mole poblano, manchamanteles, pipián rojo y pipián verde. Oh. Pepita de calabaza. ¿Eso? Semita. Semita es regular de Puebla. Así es. No otros lugares. Gracias, joven. Por eso. What is that? Tortillas. This is for tortilla. You see? Black tortilla. And the ingredient for the semitas. Uh, milanesa de pollo, uh, queso, aguacate, y papas fritas. Y el pan especial que se llama semita. Wow. A lot of things going on here. Try the mole poblano. Mm. Chocolate. That's chocolate? It's very rich uh, sauce. I'm going to try with a black tortilla. I came to Puebla before a long time ago, but never had a chance to try uh, Mole Poblano. Mole Poblano, this is one of the famous. I believe every restaurant has it. Almost ready. Let's try the semita. This is huge. Inside tastes good, but the bread too hard to bite it. I'm not sure it's only me, 
But I think um, probably my bread came to like this hard work. I think the bread is a little bit softer. It tastes much better. This token is normal, famous semilla. Semilla? Semita. Semita. Local sandwich, semita. I think that's it. You know, the bread is too hard for me. So for me, I still like the mole poblano. I think this is great. Mole poblano is the best, I guess. Each enchilada has different taste because of the sauce. Those enchiladas, only one I like it. The rest was, I don't know if it's gonna start cold. I feel like it's cold. All the salsa was cold. I think um, if it is coming as a hot, probably a little better. But I think mole poblano is much better. The meal was wonderful. It was all delicious, but mole poblano is probably on the top. Now I'm going to take you guys across the street from this restaurant, which is Cathedral of Puebla. I've been there a long time ago. I almost forgot how it is look like inside, but I came to know that it is one of the most beautiful church in Mexico. It's a well-known. So let's go inside and see what they have. Basilica Cathedral of Puebla is a Roman Catholic Church. It's protected by UNESCO Heritage Site, which is good. The construction began in 1575, but due to the poor management and financial shortages, it took nearly 100 years to complete. This church is a Baroque architectural design. Do you know what is distinguish a cathedral from a basilica? A cathedral is overseen by a bishop. In fact, any church can be designated as a basilica if it has been recognized for its cultural and historical significance by the Pope, then yes. This is one of the beautiful church I ever seen. I mean, I've been to many places in Europe, I've seen a lot of beautiful churches, but this is one of them. I notice every details of the column and the pillar and the carb and the molding, all is gold filled. This is basically real gold, it's not a color. So gold leaf is created by hammering gold into very thin sheet through a process which is called gold beading resulting in a 24 karat gilded finish commonly used for gilding. What is gilding? Gilding is a basically a leaf, gold leaf. So gold leaf is available in range of different carrots and in different shades and it is not cheap. There are a few reasons why religious or sheep place are built with gold. Most important reason is that gold is considered a symbol of purity and divinity in many religions. This footstep got my attention. Uh, I seen it everywhere in this church. So let me take uh, one of this, probably this one. I'll take this and I'm gonna keep going and let's see where this footstep takes me to. Keep going, keep going. Okay, this ends right here. I see huge, enormous wall, huge, very tall. It's probably a door, but it's closed, I guess. 
as this video is about to end, please subscribe and get a notification by clicking the bell icon. I look forward to seeing you again in my next upload.